hello again to you who have already visited this page and is visiting again and hello to you who have just visited i welcome you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ who is the lord of the whole earth in this part of the video i will be sharing with you my knowledge and wisdom i have gained from the lord who had once again taught me in his own way about his two witnesses mentioned in the book of revelation chapter 11. And before I go any further on the two witnesses, we must first know and understand what witness is. So witness means a person who sees an event, typically a crime or accident take place, or an evidence, proof, or a line or remnant of an original surface on a work piece to show how much material has been removed or the shape of the original outline. Witness can also mean confirmation of a fact or event, like bearing a testimony, or one that gives evidence of a specific event, one who testifies in a cause or before a judicial tribunal or court of law, one asked to be present at a transaction so as to be able to testify to its having taken place, one who has personal knowledge of something, or something or someone serving as evidence or proof and etc here are some scriptures that can give a good picture of the meaning of witness jesus christ is the one who came with the water of his baptism and the blood of his death he came not only with the water but with both the water and the blood and the spirit himself testifies that this is true because the spirit is truth your gold and silver are covered with rust, and this rust will be a witness against you and will eat up your flesh like fire. You have piled up riches in these last days. There are seven things that the Lord hates and cannot tolerate. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that kill innocent people, a mind that thinks up wicked plans, feet that hurry off to do evil, a witness who tells one lie after another, and someone who steers up trouble among friends. How then shall we escape if we pay no attention to such a great salvation? The Lord himself first announced his salvation, and those who heard him proved to us that it is true. At the same time, God added his witness to theirs by performing all kinds of miracles and wonders, and by distributing the gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his will. With one sacrifice, then, he has made perfect forever those who are purified from sin. And the Holy Spirit also gives us his witness. First he says, This is the covenant that I will make with them in the days to come, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and write them on their minds. Hallelujah. Amen. Dear fellow believers in Jesus Christ, with the knowledge and understanding of the meaning of witness with its support in scriptures this will help us to get into the book of revelation which we will start with its introduction part the book of revelation is the record of the events that jesus christ revealed god gave him this revelation in order to show to his servants what must happen very soon christ made these things known to his servant john by sending his angel to him and John has told all that he has seen. This is his report concerning the message from God and the truth revealed by Jesus Christ. Happy is the one who reads this book, and happy are those who listen to the words of this prophetic message and obey what is written in this book. For the time is near when all things will happen. Please keep in mind that the themes of the book of Revelation are repeated again and again in different ways through the various series of visions. Although there are differences of opinion regarding the details of the interpretation of the book, the central theme is clear. Through Christ the Lord, God will finally and totally defeat all his enemies, including Satan, and reward his faithful people with the blessings of a new heaven and a new earth when this victory is complete. My fellow believers, the main purpose of revelations from God in this book 
is to give us readers the hope and encouragement and to urge us to remain faithful during the times of sufferings and persecutions. May the peace of God, which is beyond all human understanding, be with all of you who belong to Christ. Yours, Sister in Christ. Thank you.